back for another <laughs> we back for another video about him man how one of the greatest groups say how Eminem eight mile rap rap bottle scene helped them so make sure y'all hit that sub button make sure y'all I don't care y'all hit the like button I don't even care y'all comment I need that sub button any year I'm trying to get 10k I'm not playing bro I'm gonna bust my ass every day I'm gonna keep saying that all right man let's see what mom D talk about I ain't gonna lie Mod D is one of my one of my favorite group back then. I did like Outkast, but uh I don't know. Will y'all put Outkast in the 90s though? Even though they you know they had like a couple songs in the 90s, but most likely they was in the 2000s. But um I got Mob D, one of my favorites. Like like duos. I'm talking about duos. Alright, I'm talking about duos. Cause group like 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 Bone Thug, Bone Thug and them is like four deep, man. Like, bro, I'm talking about duos. Let's get it. The best verse that I ever penned in my life. Ah, man, that's a tough one because there's so many verses. But I'm just gonna keep it simple and just go ship one. This ain't no such thing. Halfway crooks, skin. Yeah. How? Oh wait. Hey, man. Hey, look, man. I'm telling y'all, that's that's my Ooh, favorite just shit. Go ship one. This ain't no such thing as halfway scared to death and scared, scared to love. That is hard to beat, honestly. Okay, I've actually always been curious about this. So, when you first heard the Shook Ones beat in the classic 8 Mile scene, right. and you see it live for the first time, what were you feeling? Like, were, were, did you get a rush watching that? Oh, you know what's so, you know so crazy? I think Mob Deep was on Street Volume 1, bro. If if, if y'all know if y'all play the game of uh, NBA uh Street Volume One, EA Sports and Street Volume Two and Three, they need to make that back. But I think uh Mob Deep was in there. Beat in the classic Eight Mile scene, right? And you see it live for the first time. What were you feeling? Like, were, were, did you get a rush watching that? <laughs> Matter of fact, it was actually it was in Street Volume One, bro. Cause I remember the DJ was doing all this. Eminem, you gotta make another. You gotta make another movie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta make another movie. My boy M, man, my boy M, bro. Back then, bro, I ain't know M is, is was buff, but back then, bro, that Eminem was buff, man. And like I'm talking about straight muscle, man. I ain't gonna lie, this Eminem was scary, bro. If Eminem look at you like this, he finna destroy you. He finna destroy you, bro. Now everybody from the three, one, three, put your motherfucking hands. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody from the 313. Yeah. Put your motherfucking hands up. Look, look. Now while he stands tough, notice that this man did not have his hands up. Bro, we ain't finna go to we ain't finna go to eight mile, bro. I'm telling you. We not finna go to eight mile. We's not. You see, he ain't from Detroit. Why he ain't put his hands up? <laughs> Talking this shit already. Really, bro? See, this is what I hate, bro. I hate when your people do this, bro. I don't care if Eminem not finish his verse on the song or what. Wait for the song end, then we like, bro. Have y'all ever, bro? This how, this how, this how biased mind comes to Emma Wayne, bro. If Wayne, if Wayne, if, if Wayne and and M rapping, I'm not leaving the car. I'm not going nowhere until they verses end. Or they song in. And when they song in before I play another one, then I get out the car, bro. Bro, finish the Eminem shit, bro. Stop playing with me. Hands up. I mean, I was like really taken back because I didn't even know that if Eminem was a fan. Bro, come and see, I'm telling you, bro. People 
Joe don't even respect this man. He don't even know it. He don't even know it. For these black people who don't give Eminem his credit, bro, y'all got to stop this. Eminem showing you love. Eminem showing you love. And guess what black people said? Who listen to Eminem? Who who get in the car and listen to Eminem? If you a stand, some people listen to Eminem. I'm going to be real. I don't even go in the car and listen to Eminem. But like I said, when I get to that mode, I don't even play Lil Wayne in the car. When I get to that mode, oh yeah, Eminem Wayne. Eminem Wayne, bro, is, I'm, I'm telling you. Eminem Wayne. And the people who do go in it, like, and the people who do play Eminem, I respect you, bro. I respect you. You my dog, bro, if you play Eminem, bro. Because as soon as I heard somebody play that music be murdered by, I was like, man, I respect you, bro, because that's, that's the GOAT right there, bro. All credit. He don't even know it. Like, really taken back because I didn't even know that if Eminem was a fan, you know what I mean? So to hear that, I found out that he was a fan, and then the uh, Tatini sound went off in my head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the Royal, the Royal, we won't even... I mean, the royalties from eight miles are uh, eight miles is gonna be good for a while. All right, it bought this Fendi <laughs> sweater. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Like I said, man, all this black and white, this gotta end, bro. This gotta end. Fendi <laughs> sweater. <laughs> 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 Alright, all right, last question. I asked you your favorite verse, the talk show was. What's your favorite prodigy verse of all time? I know it sounds cliche, but it have to be simple ones. Because he goes, Fisher Queens, Liz Murderers, the mall comes equipped for warfare. Beware of my crown family, you got nothing shot to sit for all those. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> man, man, that's it. Just just that just one Eminem, bro. Come on, man. I could have reacted to something else, man. Like I said, shout out to Hip Hop DX, man, for these videos, bro. Like, real talk, bro. Okay, then we got to talk Shook Ones for, for another minute. So, when that beat first comes on, that's... Like, did you guys both know? Did something click in your head? Bro, this is supposed to be about M, bro. Like, bro, how y'all got M on the title, bro? That's it? Bro, go back to M, bro. Go back to M, bro. And like I said, shout out to 2K actually put his jersey on there on 2K. Oh my god, I'm never taking that jersey off, bro. Everybody I'm not taking that jersey. Three. Put your motherfucking hands up. Look, look. Now while he stands tough, notice that this man did not have his hands up. I mean, I'm Bro, I swear to God, bro. Y'all niggas is sleeping. Hey, man, that's it for that reaction of how Eminem ate. Hey, he only saying, I didn't even know Eminem was a fan. Keep trying to tell y'all, bro. A lot of people don't even know. Eminem, bro, he shot out a lot of rappers. A lot of rappers like, I don't even know. He shot out me. He respect you. Just don't disrespect him. That's all he's saying. He said, I'm going to respect you. Just don't disrespect me. If you disrespect me, you, 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 bro, I'm telling you, your sales finna go down, bro. Messing with me. I can steal your favorite fucking beat. Bro, Matt, bro, I swear to God. Imagine M actually rapping like, uh, not rapping. Imagine M doing the same shit like Lil Wayne do, steal niggas beats and kill a niggas beats and diss you. <laughs> hey M, if you watch this, that hey, that no, hey, like, like, yeah, bro. Like, if you see this, bro, like, if somebody like if somebody else diss you, I would go to their favorite, like, like they number one, like they number one hit song, steal they beat and diss them. <laughs> They killed him, they own fucking beat. I swear to God, bro, it would be a monster, man. I'm out, man. Fuck out of here.